Let's go ahead and hit the gas here. Let's see how it takes jumps. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? What just happened? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Trailmakers. Today we're going to be checking out the sandbox mode here in the game. Now if you missed the first two episodes of Trailmakers, we completed the expedition mode. I will link those in the top right corner, so if you want to check those out. But sandbox mode is a mode where you can pretty much build whatever you want. Uh, you unlock all the pieces in the game, everything's good to go, there's no limits, there's no money to deal with. It's just you and your imagination. So if you guys have any suggestions for builds you'd like to see in sandbox mode, comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. But today, I'm going to try to create something that I've been picturing in my head would be really cool. And that would be like an off-road jet-powered Formula One car. So we're going to jump right into the sandbox mode here. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys some of the parts that they have in the game. This gets me really excited for the uh, future of the game. Uh, you can see we've got parts like a big monster truck tire. We've got stuff like a go-kart wheel, there's a bunch of different joints, there's hinges, so you can maybe make like a truck and a trailer. A lot of cool stuff in here. Now I think uh, some of these parts aren't 100% working right now. Uh, do keep in mind this game is still in alpha, this is really just the alpha demo. Uh, so they're going to be adding more parts and they're going to be working on overall bug fixes. But anyways, let's go ahead and lay out a frame here. Alright, so we're going to start off with the frame here. So I've got my seat laid out. We're going to go ahead and stick some of these blocks on here. Now I have been making several mistakes uh, during my episodes of Trailmakers. And I've noticed a lot of parts falling off. And one thing you got to keep in mind. These little square blocks that are on the uh, parts. Those need to be in contact with other square blocks. If not, the part falls off. I was having some issues with uh, some of the jets trying to attach them and they were falling off so definitely gonna have to pay attention to that so what I've got going here I can picture maybe this is the start of the nose uh, let's go down here we need steering now you're probably wondering why this area down here is empty a lot of Formula One cars actually have an empty area under there they're not like they don't go all the way to the ground in the front I don't know what it's called I'm pretty sure it has an, a name and I'm pretty sure it's for aerodynamic reasons of course, that might not matter here, but I want to try to make this look pretty cool here, or at least somewhat legit. So we're going to mount some suspension here. Maybe we're going to mount this higher. Can we mount it here? I'm a little afraid of that being too low and maybe dragging the bottom, but I guess we can go ahead and run some tests. So let's go ahead and run the suspension there. And on top of every suspension piece, you need a steering hinge. So we're going to grab a steering hinge on each side. Now, let's go ahead and lay out some of the back real quick. We're going to keep it nice and low to the ground. And we're probably going to mount maybe the motor. We've got the V8 back here. Is there any other motors unlocked right now? Or is this pretty much it? I think this is it as far as your motors. Yeah, you just have the V8. I'm kind of curious as to what other motors they're going to add in the game. But we've got that. Let's see. I want to kind of work on the front area. Uh, let's go ahead and drag this out maybe to here. Actually, let's do two blocks like this. So we're going to use some of those aerodynamic pieces. You have these streamlined frame pieces that we're going to use. And I think we're going to use this to try to form a bit of a nose on this. Okay, so I'm staring at this, trying to figure out how this is going to work. I've got a bit of an idea. I don't think this is going to poke out too far here. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and delete this piece. And let's delete this piece. So we've got those deleted. I want to mount a wing under here, or more or less, I want to mount a spoiler under here. Now that spoiler's not quite big enough for a Formula One wing, but I think I can stick two of these maybe here, and let's go and get another one and stick it right here. So you've got that front wing. That actually looks kind of cool, but that is not mounted. So let's go and stick this back here. And I think, instead of sticking a block under here, because that's going to make the car really tall, let's see if we can use maybe these shield plates. Uh, let's see, will any of these work? Is there really a difference? Don't really think so. So let's go and stick maybe this one. Where is that? It's not flipped over. Let's go and flip it real quick. Ah, that does mount. So we can mount one here. 
and connect that wing and we can mount one here and connect the wing here. So the front wing is now attached. Okay, that works out pretty good. We're gonna start covering this in aerodynamic pieces. I think I'm gonna mount a couple under here. Now I really hope this doesn't change the characteristics of the car too much. I'm really just doing some of these pieces for looks. Like say that piece right there and then we're gonna put the uh, armor plating on the top of this and on the sides. So we've got that, we need to do a bit of work on the back here. So we're gonna have, yep, not on the side. We need to stick this maybe above the motor here. And we're gonna swap this around. So let's go maybe about like that and we'll duplicate it and make two of them. So you've got kind of the shell on top of the driver. Now of course a Formula One doesn't have like a roof or a canopy over the driver, but this is the only seat we have. So. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start to uh, cover this real quick in body panels and see what it looks like. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I've got a bit of an idea to try to make the body look a little bit more like a Formula One's body. So we're gonna mount these block pieces against the cockpit. Now I'm, I'm hoping I can still get in there. Uh, that might be a bit of an issue. And I'm gonna use these aerodynamic pieces to kind of create a pod around the driver so let's see let's go ahead and swap this around like that and can I stick that on top here will that mount I think that shield plate is in the way let's go and get rid of those real quick and will you mount like so oh yes it will oh this might look really really cool so I need to do this there and there and then we need to swap around and do it on this side too so Okay, so the next part I'm going to work on, I think I'm going to try to keep the jets low. So I am going to wind up mounting them right here and here. And you do notice I did add one more engine just for a little bit of extra speed here. So really think this thing's going to turn out actually pretty good. I was a little concerned at first, um, trying to figure out like just how much these shield pieces are weighing the car down. I don't actually think they're that bad, so I think we're gonna be in decent shape there. So as far as length, that's probably about the end of it there, and then we need to mount some back turning. So, let's give ourselves a mounting point about right here, and let's go ahead and grab that suspension. So say we're gonna mount the back suspension here and here, and then we're gonna move hinges here and here so that should work and we should be able to get our back tires actually you know what we don't need four-wheel steering this is a formula one car they only turn off the fronts uh, so let's go attach these this is still a bit tricky to do with the wheels but let's go and attach those like that and that and let's drop it real quick and see what it looks like oh that looks awesome it is a bit heavy though wow that thing compressed really hard on the back does that even drive around Oh, that is dragging bottom. I need to mount the, uh, I think it might be the jets, or it just could be overall the weight of the back. I'm going to mount those jets one higher, because I think those are dragging, and I might need to go one down on the suspension to make up for the, uh, almost like a rebound for how much is going to need to be given there, because this thing is dragging bottom right now. Alright, let's go and mount this here. And we're going to go over the design. I think everything's in decent order. So that back wing isn't too high. I would say this actually looks like a mixture of a normal dune buggy and a Formula One. So we've got that. We've got the jets on the side. There's two motors in here. Now, I didn't move the jets. I just wound up actually moving the uh, suspension piece up one. And it makes up for the uh, amount of weight in the back. So you'll see that the, uh, the nose doesn't even really... It's not even off the ground that much compared to, like, I figured there was going to be a big gap because the uh, back suspension was one higher, but it really isn't. So, let's go ahead. We need to save this real quick because I actually kind of like this. So, we're going to save this here. And here we go. Save blueprint. And we're ready to test this bad boy out. Now, I can't guarantee this is going to work. Worst case scenario, we'll just strap a whole bunch of rockets to it and call it a day. All right, here we go. Oh, we've got an issue. This thing is not turning. It is not turning at all. We are dragging, I believe. So that is a flaw. Is it the, you know, I wonder if it's the shield plates that are dragging. I guess we could match the rear and the front suspension and move this down one. It's going to set a little higher than I would have wanted it to, but... 
I do believe this might be the only way to fix this. Uh, it's going to lose a little bit of its effect of being a formula, like a really low Formula One car, but I think for the off-road sake, we're going to need to do this. So let's go ahead and mount all this back, and we'll go ahead and give it another try and see if this fixes our turning ability here. There we go. It's off the ground. So it must have been those shield plates grabbing the, uh, or at least dragging the bottom and slowing it down. So not bad, not bad. Handles pretty good. Could probably use a little bit more turnability. I think the weight is a little extreme on this car. But as far as the handling, I would say it's, eh, we'll, we'll go with the 5 out of 10 on it. Now, question is, does it jump? I'm kind of curious as to what those spoilers are doing. Are they actually going to help pin it down or is this thing going to be able to jump? So let's go ahead and turn around here. You know, worst case scenario, we could extend this thing out, just call it a dragster and attach a whole bunch of thrusters to it. So let's go ahead and hit the gas here. Let's see how it takes jumps. Oh, wait. Wait, what? What just happened? It just blew up and, and now I'm here. I'm just standing here like nothing happened. Alrighty, <laughs> can I even repair that? Oh, I'm so glad I saved the blueprint. Well, I guess we're gonna try that again. All right, we are once again lined up somewhat to this jump. Let's see if we explode on impact again this time. I'm really hoping we don't. And oh, <laughs> it's gotta be the spoiler. The spoiler's gotta be catching the front. Wow, that is impressive. So my build is already flawed. It does handle good. Or at least I'd say it handles okay. It looks cool, but it can't take a jump because it blows up. All right, so we're running around here in the off-road section. I have to say, that's one thing this Formula One off-roader is doing relatively well. We just know it cannot hit jumps. Question is, can it climb this dune up here? Let's go ahead and try that. You know, I figured out what most of the turning woes are, and it's really when you're holding the jets down. I guess it maybe compresses, and it might be dragging bottom. Oh, that worked actually relatively well. Now, you're probably wondering how we made it back to this section, and the game kind of broke on me, and we had a restart here. But luckily, we had our blueprint saved. So, we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and unlock this area again. That's the only thing that's a little strange about the sandbox mode is that it does stick you back in the expedition map, but it also makes you... I think we have to unlock these points, that way the checkpoint's ready to go if we blow up and kill ourselves. So we've got that. That's good to go. Vehicle's pretty awesome, but you know what? This is Trailmakers. We've got to make this thing a bit more extreme than it is. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and rip this shield piece off here. And I think, yeah, I can yank this whole section. This is another really, really cool thing that you can do here in Trailmakers. You can take whole sections and just snap them on and off. So we're going to put these two about like that. And we're going to add a whole section here of, let's see, this is what, two by four. Uh, let's stick that on the bottom there. And we're going to add some wheels. We're going to make a big dragster. Since the shape is somewhat similar to a top fuel dragster to a Formula One car, as far as just, you have the front kind of wing, you have the big tall back wing and the engine and all that is mounted behind the driver. I'm not saying they are exactly the same thing because I'm pretty sure somebody's going to correct me and be like, those are not the same Komodo. Don't say that. But this is going to be cool because we're going to strap a whole bunch of jets to this thing. All right, so we've got the two halves back together. I think I might ditch this front wing. I'm a little worried about it. I think it's actually hindering our ability to turn. I think it's the plates below it are dragging, so... Maybe we'll go with something like that. We pretty much kept the whole back pod, but there's going to need to be some more adjustments. I think we're actually going to put four wheels on the back of it here, and I think we'll reattach that spoiler just maybe a bit lower. Now, as you can see, we have five jets on it right now, so might be a bit of overkill, but I still think this is going to turn out A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead. We're going to attach some more back pieces here. Actually, let's just go full on with it. Let's go two by four. There we go. We're going to stick some back suspension on this. All right. So this is off-road top fuel dragster test one. Let's go ahead and save this bad boy because I'm afraid. Uh, sometimes when you reset the blueprint or say something gets destroyed and you try to repair it, it puts it together like Picasso and it's kind of frustrating. But let's do this and... Oh, it didn't split in half. It didn't split in half. I'm so happy. Oh, that thing is heavy. You know, surprisingly, it still turns. That is really surprising. 
Oh, it's got a ton of thrusters on it. This actually looks kind of cool. Okay. Oh, 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 oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, Alright, this thing's fast. Alright. What the heck? Are those piranhas? They're nibbling at me. Hey, 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 leave me alone. Backspace. <laughs> Let me respawn. Just, just end it or something. Ah, crap. Hopefully I can get that back. I'm a little concerned. Alright, so first test is not that bad with this top fuel off-road dragster. I feel like it needs a bit of turning stability and a bit more support on the front, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do what any normal person would do, and we're going to add more front suspension. And we'll add two more wheels with the hinges on it and make it to where it turns off four wheels in the front. Yeah, this is totally going to work. At least I think it's going to. Alright, the more I stare at this, the more it looks like a centipede. So we've stuck a back spoiler on there. We've got an extra set of wheels on the front. Please don't break in half. Please don't break in half. Oh, that worked. Alright, question is, how does it turn now? Ooh, that is actually quite a bit better. You know, I almost feel like I need to stuff even more motors on it because it's normal driving ability. It's a little on the slow side. Now, of course, when you kick these bad boys on, you have no problem. We'll hit 200 plus, which is actually pretty... Uh oh <laughs> Uh-oh, we split in half! Oh, let's just go ahead and just take off here. Oh, oh! Alright. Now, the question is, when we repair this, is it gonna look like Picasso, or... Is it gonna... Is it gonna repair? We made a mess. Uh, let's hope this goes back together. Okay, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna mount a couple more motors. This already looks a bit ridiculous, but... It needs a little bit more drivability and a little bit more speed uh, without using the jets. So let's go ahead and move here. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that helped. Uh, it's not 100% better, but it's definitely doing decent. I think this thing's just so heavy that it's just... Uh, the game's having a little bit of problems keeping up with it, but... <laughs> oh, it does fly though. Wow, it does a really good job at that. And Oh, there we go. Yep, that was a stunt. Actually, how am I surviving these? Like, the car completely exploded, and I'm still good to go here. Alright, so, that test is pretty good. I feel like this is actually working fairly... What? Wait, what? Huh. I guess the parts are too far apart. I don't know, I guess we'll just pull out another one here. Alright, so this is probably gonna be the last version of this car. We've attached even more jets on it to see kinda what it does. So yeah, we'll probably next episode experiment a little bit with actual flying creations and, and mess with the wings. But I just kind of wanted to see what kind of ridiculous off-roader we can make, and obviously we've made something completely stupid. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I make such a mess each time. You know, I really wish this was repairable. So, yeah, the backspace, I don't know if it's the size of the creation. I can't backspace the respawn right now to repair this thing. And obviously, for some reason, I'm not dying as I blow up here. That might be just well, the way it is in sandbox mode, but... Uh, we're going to have to get another one of these puppies out. Uh, the last thing we're going to do, we're going to hit the big incline over there and just kind of see what happens. And hopefully we don't... Actually, I don't think we can die. Well, hopefully we don't completely blow up on the way there. I just want to see if it can climb that hill. So, let's grab you out. And... Oh, I see those pieces moving over there. Are they, like... Are, I think they're, like, attracted to my creations. Like, they're trying to come home. It's like, phone home. All right. You guys stay away. I'm gonna hit this hill going 200 plus. Oh, uh oh, you need to turn. There we go. All right, full throttle. <laughs> there it goes. Oh boy. Oh, we cleared it. We cleared that. And there we go. Yep, we made another mess. So, yeah, I picture there's a lot of different things that we could actually make with this. This is actually really cool being able to play with all the parts. So if you guys have any suggestions for future builds, we will definitely be revisiting this. We'll probably try a flying build, like I said, next to see what we can accomplish there. I don't think I've seen any videos where anybody's made anything that really flies great. Uh, it seems like it's a bit of a challenge right now. So we're going to probably give a crack at that next episode. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Trail Makers. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.